Here we are, everyone, at the 2023 Rudolph Riot at Eastern Park on the lovely Eastern Beach waterfront in Geelong. And I'm joined by my old sparring partner, the guy who used to have long hair, but it took one comment of me telling him he was heading down the same path as Michael Johansson, and off it came. Matthew Farina, how are you, mate? I'm great, Jace. <laughs> yes, I do have the short hair, primed for summer. It's a lot cooler. Um, yeah, that Michael Johansson comment made me throw out the uh, <laughs> the comment that I just bought from ozdiscs.com. <laughs> well, you yeah, there, highs a flight. Yeah, and it's good to be here. And the Rudolph Riot, it's been one of Victoria's longest-running uh, disc golf tournaments. You're right, it does have a bit of history and it's played on a pop-up course, uh, Eastern Park, down by the uh, the bay there. What's the official yeah, name of that Eastern bay? Yeah, Eastern Beach. The Eastern Beach. Eastern Beach. Lovely oh. course, lovely terrain. Uh, I guess the, the hope is to one day have it become permanent. Anyway, here we are, hole one, par three. One of the trickier holes on the course, Jace. Ooh, I don't know about you, but I uh, really struggle with it myself. These guys won't struggle as much, but birdies, very difficult. Yeah, there's not a lot to see from the basket. Uh, so there's not a lot to see from the tee pad as we just watch Tim Bowen attack it first up. Yeah, flex forehand out of the gates, just warming up his tried and true. Yeah, it's going for the really the only gap. I mean, I did see a, a hyzer line that a, a few guys took on this particular weekend. But Yeah, um, there's a lot of trees challenging on that right side. Aiden Howard's going to probably play the hyzer flip down the middle. Or well, being Christmas, should we not uh, mention that it's Aiden Ho 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 Howard? Ho Ho Ho, did he do that? <laughs> that was, uh, oh no, it caught a bit of cabbage. Never mind, I thought it was a bit better than it was. And we have a Park Virgin here. Yeah, Blake Nichols. Blake the Snake Nichols, one of our favourites at Park. Yeah, forehand specialist. If he gets that, a little bit of flex on it. Yeah, a lot and of spins on that one. Pulled a little too far left. He should have a shot to the pin from there. That's actually not the worst spot to be. And another newcomer. One of my favourites, one of the reptiles from the Park 3 hold-up. <laughs> uh, the circus card. As you labelled them, Ryan Deer. Young player, early releases this one a little bit. Oh, what a kid. Oh, he's deep in the bush there. Mm, it'll all depend on how far through that disc got. But uh, yeah, I think the four shots there really evidencing how difficult this opening hole is. Yeah, now lead card's away. Um, he's got a shot out here, Ryan. So <laughs> He's 70% in golf in the bush. He is. Taking his time. Still a little bit of meat on the bone there, James. Yeah, certainly. He's got it. He's got a putt though. Timmy with a surprise, surprise, a flex forehand. Needs that to come back, and oh, that is beautiful. beautiful. What touch! Just underneath Santa's hat there. See Aiden, Aiden for his up. second. Pretty stock standard backhand approach for him. Puts it on a bit of a hyzer line. Yeah, it shouldn't have too many problems with that part, no, Matty. No, you don't think so. Yeah. Blake just... He's got a sneaky little putt here, does he? He has. He's got, he got a fair way up. Oh, just pinched off by the tree there. Yeah, clipped a bit of cabbage on the up. Ryan to save par. Not the start. He was Not happy with wanting. that. He's not happy. No. The snake for his par. Yeah, Blake really came to prominence in 2022 and then uh, 2023 saw him play a lot of uh, events, but... Well, much like this guy, he stepped up to MPO uh, mid-2023. Yeah, and uh, the competition definitely heightened for him. Braden finishes off there. Yep. Um, nice clean part of start for Aiden. Yeah, I hope to see Blake Nichols back in lead card form. Oh, I think we'll be seeing more of him. Not just the feature card, yeah. Definitely. And Tim taps in there. So a pretty clean start for all on the card, except yeah. for uh, young Ryan Deer. We got hole two. We got a short one here. Plays a little blind, so you're throwing over a crest. Yeah. And you've got all the options here. You can go forehand. You Only can go a flag backhand. visible from the from the tee. Yeah. Uh, the trickiest part about this hole was the headwind. Yeah, certainly. It just held up that hill, didn't it? Mm -hmm. This looks like the... Uh, is it the two geese from Tim? Looks nice out of the hand. Ooh. 
Yep, yeah, that's about as good as you can do from that. Very nice outcome for Tim. Lovely. Although the players have no idea where the disc is landing here. Aiden lines up his putter. Ooh, he's yanked over oh. that one. Well, that's entirely in the wrong direction, isn't it? Yeah, that's uh, par at best for Aiden. Yeah, ouch. One of the scorable holes, you'd think, on this front nine is... For is all divisions. Team. Yep. As Blake gives it a bit of juice. Yeah, Way too looked, much juice. <laughs> I thought that <laughs> looked a little bit too much work on that one, Blake. <laughs> As Ryan lines up. Some of the best form in the game, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. It's Ryan good looking. Deer. It's good looking. There's not too many players on the Australian tour who, if I could emulate exactly, yep. I would. He's got a, he gets a nice glide out of the disc, doesn't he? Yeah, and he really just speeds up through his throw as we see Aiden. Actually, ooh. He's going to use that tree, is he? A little stepper. He's up there to clean up. Yeah. Ryan, birdie look. A bad bid. Yeah, he's had a couple of long putts so far, but um, just trying to rein it in. As Blake steps ooh. one. Ooh, I thought that was tracking. So did I. And Timmy finishes off a tap in. Birdie, you call it. Him, yes. For me, no. The Heiser flight man. And... I made that the so snake's much. rocking one of those new disconnection tops. And they are busy, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> they are doing plenty. Disconnection, they're a busy team. They uh, are. Just constantly uh, sponsoring <laughs> and posting about players. As we see Aiden finish off the there. I wonder what... Yeah. Ryan had a cheeky little word to say to the camera there. He always does. As par three. We go into hole three, par three. One of the toughest birdies on the course. People say there is two lines, but there's only really two lines if you've got 150 meters of hyzer. It's going to be opted mostly with the power forehand or the straight backhand as we see Tim line up the flex forehand. Flexes it a little too much. Yeah, very few lines from memory uh, when I played this. You need to throw far and you need to throw straight and low. Far and low and flat. And um, unfortunately, that's that's something you've got, Matty. But um... yeah, minus about seventy required meters. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see Aiden lean too much on the uh, the power forehand there. But... No, I'd agree. But he's he's caught a branch there. Yeah, if you can't use that weapon of a backhand, you know it's a, a hole that demands. Probably ideally a, a, a big Yeah, he's just hand. trying to... I think they're just trying to get past this four, first grouping. Um, which doesn't See, look like Blake's Blake, managed to do well. He had a nice line, but the height was the issue there. It's it's a really challenging It's hole. super low, isn't it? Get to see the backhand line from Ryan here. Broad shoulders were in the way of our view there. <laughs> he looks like he's got a bit of distance on that. Uh, so The man does his chin up, surely. As the snake approaches the basket and leaves a little short, that one. Yeah. Caught the tree. You'll have a difficult putt there. He needs to... Oh, he gets through yeah, those two Yeah, he's got trees. some ground play there, so that's well played. Yeah, wouldn't call do it, it on the ground, in. I think. Wouldn't call it a tap-in, but he should make that. Tim a little closer. Oh, he's... I'd suggest not going to be happy with that shot, mate. Oh, I wouldn't be happy with that shot. <laughs> so I'm guessing he isn't either. Go in. And even Ryan's juiced it a little there. but Yeah, just not a comfortable hole. Yeah, off in the way with these. Oh, nice run from the nice snake. Nice stepper. Coming off the band. Oh, Tim just didn't give that the commitment nah. it needed. And the roll away is insult to injury. Yeah, this is definitely a tough path. This would have played as, as one of the hardest, you'd imagine. Oh, definitely. Ryan with a very... Okay, no, he's going back to the knee. He's weighing up his options. Yeah, just not raining the, uh, the putting game in yet for Ryan. But... No, no, he'll come good. And with the lovely... What a power stance in his putt, doesn't he, Aiden? Oh, I love the way he just... Uh... Oh, that's a genuine chain out, I think. Yeah, yeah, he's not happy Not even that. a chain out, that's a spit out, isn't it? There's a difference. He's, uh... I love the way he flays all his limbs out after he putts, Aiden. Aiden, it's a full body putt, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good finish from Tim. And a few bogeys on this card, by the look of it. 
Challenging hole. Course showing its teeth early. Finish from Ryan. And Blake will tap in, you'd expect. Yeah, really do change the way they putt into these baskets, Maddie. Just sort of looping them in a little bit more. <laughs> I'm not going to comment any further on that. <laughs> uh, as we have hole four, par four, pretty scorable par four. Uh, two backhand hyzers will get you up there pretty easily. I can't see these four gentlemen having much trouble with this one, Jace. No, not from uh, not with 161 meters. Um, should be fairly fairly easy going off the tee, although. Timmy looks like he's throwing that one. Oh, it's geez, he's got a bit of ground play in it. Yeah, it? hovercraft action, even in thick grass. Aiden here, he's got all the power in the world. He should he definitely got the capability to get it up there and make for an easy approach. It's about getting the right line though, isn't it? Which I think he's hit. Yeah, it certainly looks like it. Yep. Yeah, that's that's a good drive. Yep, he'll have he'll have any option he wants for the approach. There is Blake also with a impressive amount of power he should be able to push this one to a similar direction yeah he's exposed the fangs a little on that one mm, bit it off a little bit straight into that tree he'll still have the power to get there but it'll take a really good shot now it's Ryan with the backwards hat you know he means business when he's got the hat backwards Jace look all the uh, all the best players wear the hat backwards when they play Matty you're wearing a backwards hat right now correct <laughs> He's probably a little left there, but again, still very approachable. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> Woodwork for Straight the to a snake. Oh, that's so awful, Tim. Yeah, the trademark from the, Tim. Yeah, high out of the hand there. Still got through, though, but yeah. that's not an easy putt for the birdie. As Ryan looks like he's opting for the forehand, we get the first look at his forehand on Park Media coverage. Yeah, I haven't seen it uh, so far, this comp. Oh, it's Macbethian. It is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and he's put it in a decent He's got spot. the two-step march going before he throws yeah, it. Yeah, that little sort of backwards retraction and then pull through. <laughs> Was it Macbethian or Macbethan, would you say? I'd say Macbethian. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Any thespian would tell you that. <laughs> it's from now on it will be Macbethian. <laughs> As Aiden goes with the turnover nice straight backhand. Yeah. Yep, and then that's pulled up nicely for him. Yeah, you can see his ultimate skills on show, the way he uses those putters on the approach. Tim's got some overhanging branches here, which on coverage they look like a problem. I think he can get under them. Yeah. Yep. Oh! And actually comes up hitting too high. That's uh, a bit of bad luck there from TB. Oh, Blake. Didn't look like a confident putt, did it there from the snake? No, it didn't. Is this a Ryan. birdie putt or par putt for Ryan? This is a birdie putt. Because we get a full shot of that physique. And what a physique. <laughs> Taking his time. Oh, maybe a little wind just, affected. Yeah, look, possibly. Couldn't keep his eye off that red Santa hat. Either way, he's not overly impressed with it. <laughs> the Bald Hill Bully lines up his birdie putt here. Plenty of anatomy in this putt, as we've mentioned earlier. Yep. <laughs> Finishes in arabesque, I believe it's called. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I just like the word. It's some sort of what? Is it like a ballet It's a dancing dance? ballet team, yeah. Ballet. I could infer as much. <laughs> uh, good knowledge. As, oh, goodness me. That thing almost yeah, crept it took out. It forever to hit the cage, didn't it? As the other yeah. fellas clean up their pars. So, Aiden, the only birdie on that uh, par four. We've only really seen two birdies so far as we come into the fifth hole here, par five. They've shortened it this year, so it is a little more scorable. Actually, a really fun hole to play. You want to push down a tunnel uh, initially. Forehand or backhand is in play. I like to throw the roller on my second shot, but we'll see what these boys do. It is a really fun hole. There's trees everywhere, but it's nice and open. 
uh, lots of options. Yeah, look, it's it's definitely a little shorter than last year. It is still fairly abusive, though. <laughs> Aiden goes a wonderful looking flex backhand. Look at that He's thing. Just glide. getting distance and playing it towards the road here to the oh left. The God. screen from the tee pad is uh, is what. A lot of guys found the easiest. I'd, I'd never seen a shot that good on this hole. Tim throws a bit of a... Was that a roller attempt? I've Does he throw a roller bone? The fact that we don't know indicates how... I can't see him being a roller man, can you? Average the shot was. Um, he Forehand rollers, Timmy likes to throw. Look at the run-up on Ryan Deer. He wants to throw this one into the sea. Chest puffed out. Is he going the roller? No, it's a big flex. Has that made the Mando? Oh, it'd be close. So we probably should have mentioned there is a Mando on the right. It's not overly... Uh, it's about 60 or 70 metres yeah, down on the right. It's it's not a huge factor, but it's something to be cognizant of. As Blake throws... That's a nice looking shot. It looks like a gem. Problem with this uh, par 5 too being... Uh, is he throwing from the... It look, he will either land it on the drop zone or he missed the Mando and threw from the yeah, drop zone. Yeah, even if you get a good drive out there, you've got these little sort of uh, immature trees. separated trees yeah. that you can just land up right behind <laughs> immature trees yeah <laughs> petulant trees <laughs> is that Dean feeling his dog <laughs> yes. oh, shout, out to shout out to Park Media's own Dean he must Feely. be out there getting stats I would say yep as Blake lines up his second big power hyzer on the forehand and shout out to Dean Feely's dog also he's kept it in the clear he'll have a he'll have an approach there Yep, Dean Feely's dog. Important member of the Feely family. There's Aiden. I believe that's his second shot after that monster yeah, of a right tee drive. The road. And he's playing up the left, which is definitely the better way to play it, I reckon. Yeah, there is a less a lesser amount of trees And this that is way. the sort of petulant tree I was talking about, Matty. And he's feeling the petulance of this tree right now and having to go to the pattern pending. Still gets a pretty That's good a reasonably full on good it. effort though. Okay, so he can throw pattern pending as far as I can throw. And off a, he's edge of circle. Off a perfect tee pad. Nice shot there by Ryan. The snake. Ooh, oh, he's you wouldn't found call the that biggest tree in the park. That's not a petulant tree. That's no, that's, that's a not petulant tree. <laughs> Tim with a touchy little backhand. Delightful. Lovely. So Aiden has to push through some greenery here. Ooh. Yeah, I like that play. Deft touch. Yep. All right, come on, Riser. See if he can make one of these, Ryan. He's been... Looks good out of mid. Yeah. He's on. <laughs> He's been waiting for it. the reverse park. Oh, wow. He's got the his first reverse park. Of the reverse park. Obviously, this is... Uh, a very nice that's surprise for us. That's, that's worth a reverse pass. Shout that out was a to great putt. Shout out to our And many he men likes it too. And editor Kyle for putting that one in. Yep. Just those little touches, isn't I've it? I've been annoying him about putting the reverse park back in. I'm really happy about <laughs> it. And a putt worthy of it too, just quietly. There's Blake. Oh. Blake, the putting just not looking as confident as I've seen it from him in the past. Yeah, not as snappy. Not as much venom being administered. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be time to shed a skin, I think, from the snake. <laughs> Just work his way to the long grass. <laughs> okay. So, nice couple of birdies there, Matty. And hole six, par three, 84 metres. I'd call it a pretty scorable hole for these guys. You've got the backhand hyzer option on the right and the low forehand hyzer option on the left. Bit so, of OB on the right? Yeah, there's a little sort of, uh, what would you call it? Like some fenced off area. It's a wedge, is it? It definitely is a wedge shape. As uh, Ryan checks his phone, he's probably just seeing how many matches he's got in the last 10 minutes. <laughs> Good looking man is Ryan well, With that top on, he'd have to be going through the roof, wouldn't it? He's got a physique. There's no doubt about it. So this is one guys are hoping to be attack, uh, you'd think. There's Aiden here. This is a pretty simple hyzer for Aiden, isn't it? Ooh. Power in that run up. Jeez, he's given it plenty. He's too. got that nice inside line and. Oh! 
He's, <laughs> he's done it! He's nailed it! Wow! Holy <laughs> hat, he's just yes. hit the Pikes Media ace! <laughs> oh, yes! Is there. Uh, Matty no and I have just high five. That's how excited we are. No disc golf media company in the world. How many aces catches. does Parked Media get? It's. I'm starting to lose That's count. That's the sixth, I reckon. The sixth? That's the sixth. That is just. Here we go. We're definitely getting a reverse park to this. Oh, look at that. The look shimmy. That. The, the shimmy, shimmy approach. Who? As he goes out wide and he likes it straight out of the hand. Oh. Oh, Cheek. you just see it. Yeah, just, it just crashes <laughs> into the bucket. And he could not be happier. Uh, I, don't, I think it was a no-chainer. I there think that he one is. crashed well the bucket. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, Aiden Howard, on your first you pick Park Media race. Boy, well <laughs> and he's a guy who knows what getting an oh, ace for Park Media is all about. Yeah, Tim can relate. As he goes the forehand option, a little bit of skip, and this is going to be delightful. Oh, yeah, look at that work. Yeah, nothing wrong with that shot. It seems, uh, it seems like it was nowhere near as good as the one before, but... Still, Still a very, very nice good. shot. As Ryan takes a similar line to Aiden yep, here. He's keeps it thin. Run. He's a little skinny. Yeah, he's going to have to earn himself another reverse park with that putt. As I think Blake, yep, opt for the forehand. Oh, Blake. Oh, yeah, that's... He's found the biggest tree again, Blake. Yeah, not his best round, Blake. As he just tries to save a par, which he's got the opportunity, but he's not looking happy. No, as Ryan with his birdie putt here. For two in a row. Oh! oh just geez, dived I it. thought he deserved that. Just yeah. dived on him at the end. He's so did he, too. He's still smiling about it, though. He's, he's, a, he's a great energy on card, isn't he, Ryan? Tim with a solid birdie putt. And that was a confident-looking putt from Tim. And uh, I'm just going to... Calm down a little bit, Matty, because I can't believe we just saw another ace. I mean, like that Olympic run-up, the way that... Uh, it was the shimmy, wasn't he, it? Yeah, the way he sort of... The, yeah, it's like the pre-throw body English. I don't know, it just looked confident. You, you called it on the little cha-cha he did on the, on the pad, didn't you? I mean, it was impressive. Even before he released the disc, I was impressed. <laughs> and then obviously the... more impressed when the, uh, the disc completed its flight. Yeah. <laughs> As we come into hole seven here, par three. This is another tricky one. Uh, we're probably opting with a power forehand. Uh, some players will go with the roller, maybe a backhand turnover. I think we're going to see all these players go. Yeah, it's tough to get all of them, um... but Hayden. <laughs> go for the forehand. <laughs> Hayden, sorry, Aiden. <laughs> yeah, it's look, it's it's tough to get in this entrance. You've really just got to get in there if you're going to. Birdie it at all. Um, gives yeah, it the no look. Off on that one. <laughs> yeah, look, that's a pretty common result on this hole. He'll pitch up the par. Nothing lost, nothing gained. As Tim goes to that forehand that I mentioned, I think that's a little too straight. Yeah. Ooh, he's ended up behind the tree. Yeah, yeah it, look, it, it is a tough shot. I mean, who's got a 110 metre forehand? Blake. <laughs> <laughs> As Ryan. Yeah, it does what a lot of the backhand yep. players just, do. Just fading out there. It's a really tough fight. Right, here's my guy. I reckon this is where the kickstart comes for Blake's round. Oh, that's that's awful. Yep. That's... Uh, that's, that's mm. Blake, I hate to say it, mate. That was not Blake-like. Oh, that looks low. Oh, no. Got a, a bit nice of bit of turn. Oh, that's a... Ooh, that's a good recovery shot. Really yep. nice recovery. Really, you should have thrown that off the tee. Really nice recovery. Put me in my place there, Blake. <laughs> Should have thrown up. He was right near the long grass, and we all know he operates better in the long grass than snakes. So. Mm -hmm. Doesn't like the exposure. That's right. A long bid here for Howard. Yeah, just didn't have the, didn't yeah have the it's just, just about powering up for a lot of these, these guys. I think Timmy, with the layup play, didn't have much of a choice. As he... Ooh. <laughs> he tests out that rat mm. basket. It takes the par. You, reckon you see maybe? our man Ash Weidner on catch cam there. Always there, the man in the helmet. It's become iconic, that helmet. It's <laughs> an extension of his own body. <laughs> oh, there's Blake for a bogey, I believe, after that OB. And Aiden Ho 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 Wood, keeping on the Christmas theme today. 
being, well, this tournament was played, what, the 2nd of December? Yeah, so it's it's in the lead up to Christmas. It's why the, uh, you'll see the Santa's hats on. Yeah, and it is the final... On top of the baskets? It is the final event of the Victorian Tour. And there's really three contenders left at this point. Obviously, yep. we're speaking retrospectively. Let's just tell you about hole eight first. It's a par four. It has been shortened from a par five in seasons past. Uh, 170 meters. It's not easy, but I still think these guys are aiming to score. I wouldn't call it one of the more difficult holes. No, there's lines there, definitely. Um, but it's about accuracy. It is. I'm, I'm going to predict two out of four birdies here. Ooh, Matty, the call. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's caught. So it's, it's very hard to play this hole without catching a leaf at all. See Tim go the Tim backhand. A, is that a roller? It oh, is. That's a good looking. It's still going. Good looking that's a good shot. roller. He should throw more of them. That went. That could have gone 120. I love that. And he's in a great spot that's a too. Great, that's a great roller. Wow, we Tim did not know you had that in the bag as Ryan. <laughs> wow, we Nike run. <laughs> Didn't think he was going to stop then. Looks like he's just left Gold's gym. I have... I have no idea where that shot went. And Blake pushes through some shrubbery. Yeah, pretty short though. Um, Blake's going to find it challenging to birdie from here. High forehand. Yeah, not too sure out, about that uh, one Out either. with the bats on the left, from memory. All the bats in the trees. A nice touch. Yeah. They do like the thematics. The Geelong folk. He was a low skipper. He found himself yeah, out of position in the play. end, but yeah, he's got himself a deep C2 putt there. Now, where did Ryan end up? Oh, he's got himself. Yeah, he's got just a touchy approach there. He could have done better with that, I felt. Mm, I feel like he's had that putt all day. <laughs> yeah. As Tim should have nothing left here. And Tim with the easiest birdie look of the card. Dissecting the hole. run from Blake sort of a half run wasn't it yeah, like you he said he's, he's uh, putting with that confidence today yeah it looks like it same from Aiden you, you, I mentioned before the finishing position same sort of thing there just just didn't sort of splay every uh, limb out no I, I don't want to say round one was overly windy either um, there was definitely a breeze oh, it gusted at times but the boys are having a few putting yips at the moment, yeah, but um, hopefully Tim can rein this in and sort of equal, th go to three under with Aiden Howard. Yes, yeah, on so you, Tim. One out of three birdies in the end. I was one off, <laughs> but I was still 25% wrong. 50% wrong, sorry. Yes, that was that's right. Not known for my maths, the arena doesn't. This has been coined by you. <laughs> <laughs> the half dozen, yeah. <laughs> Howard for dozen. par. Oh, yeah, just. Mm. What can you say about putting at the moment, Matty? Uh, I think we're seeing everything that could be said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching this, the same thing we are. <laughs> well, like I said, there wasn't a huge breeze. I don't think that should be playing on their minds too much. Um,. Just warming into it, maybe. I mean, we're at hole. I mean, they're not giving eight. themselves great looks. <laughs> yeah, we are at hole eight. They're not giving themselves great looks either, so that, that could also be it. No, absolutely. As we come into one of the more challenging holes on the course, made a little bit easier this year, hole nine, par four, 217 metres. You want to pl probably play down the right side with a turnover backhand for the righty, maybe a flip-up forehand if you've got it. Uh, two pretty good shots required here, Jace. Once you get past the clumping of trees on the left, it's a pretty straightforward shot. But you're still playing into a tunnel fairway, as we see. It is shorter than last year. It is. Um, it's definitely more scorable than last year. But we... uh, it's still a, a pretty tight, tight sort of shot. Yeah, there's a great shot of it from our boy Kyle there. As Tim goes the flex backhand, and this looks excellent. Oh, he's got the uh, trees in the island Ooh, in the middle. Sorry, Timmy, I excellented you. <laughs> Oh, through the V. Oh, yeah. I think he called that shot. He's that kind of guy, isn't he? Yeah. Right, around here, he's he just... Doesn't mind the showboat. Yep. A little bit of peacocking. Ooh, no, that was the first time I hadn't seen him smiling off the tee there. Wasn't happy with the release. 
as we see. Snake Blake. the bounce back here. Yeah, come on, Blake. Turn, turn, turn. Now that's a really nice yep. looking shot. And effortless power too. That seemed very casual. You're a big strong lad, yeah. uh, Blake Nichols. Great shot, Blake. It'll Let's set see him if up we get a cha cha here. Really focusing. No cha cha. No cha cha, but. Uh, Just a really, really good disc yeah, golf shot. Lovely. That's. Uh, one of the better disc golfs we've seen. Oh, he's a little unlucky with the stability at the end there, but he should be able to play out of that stuff. Stand still forehand from TB. Won't give himself a birdie opportunity, but shouldn't bogey. Yep. Yeah, Blake, he's working his way up there. You. Blake's got the birdie up here. Come on, Blake. Yeah, it's hopefully he can capitalise on that drive. If that gets... Let's turn that over a bit. It's an all spot to Tim. Oh. Ryan actually didn't end up in a bad spot there. That looks no, he like he did, and he's got lovely, lovely disc golf shot. Aiden with the most distance and uh, probably the easiest yeah, chance look. to set up a birdie here. If he's going standstill, it's going to take all of the power he has. Now we know he has a quantity of power, but from the standstill, it's still a pretty difficult shot here. Oh, he's given it a bit. He wanted it. Yeah. Just going to push through the trees there, so he's got a... He might have a just outside C2 putt. She's a tough part for, isn't it? It is. It's a fun one to play and play with because you see a lot of people butcher this one. <laughs> and uh, the... It's hard to get off the tee. The schadenfreude in me <laughs> gets a kick out of it. As uh, Blake. Blake, pretty stock highs are approached. Not enough, not enough distance on that one, though. No, nah, definitely not. It's Ryan, he's going to putt it from about C4. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, probably a bit off what he could probably shoot probably a there. little ambitious, I would <laughs> I say. <thought> so. <laughs> Like a frog jumping out of that part. <laughs> Good on him for trying, mate. <laughs> As Tim just parks it up near the basket and he'll take his par. Not even Hayden's going to try to putt this one. Hayden? Sorry, I keep calling him. Played enough disc golf with the guy. I should be. Ooh! Hayden was the guy that knocked you back from Heiser Flight. <laughs> That's. Of course. It's on my mind. As Blake misses yet another putt. This is a much more puttable distance from Ryan Deere. <laughs> <laughs> you won't have to frog jump out of this one. He does oh, jump. This is the same putt though. Was he outside the circle then? <laughs> I don't think he was. I'm sure well, he, he had was. to be. He had I'm to sure be. Sure he was. As that hole ends up taking some numbers off the boys. Yeah, and that will conclude our front nine. And we'll after just... nine in the Rudolph riot. Uh, just yep. to recap, after we wait for Ryan Deere to putt out. And that will conclude our front nine here as we have Tim Bowen on two down, Aiden Howard also two down, Blake Nichols with a varied start at four over, and yeah. Ryan Deere not playing his best either. He'll sit at two over going into the back nine. And also in the tournament, Paddy Robinson, four down, and Ryan Michelle shooting a two down. So thank you very much, and we'll probably see you for the back nine very shortly. And until then, don't forget, park, park it. it.